Hey y'all, I'm out in the shop and we'll make a YouTube video. I haven't done one of these in a minute. I got a pretty much ready to go by face here. Found it in a bucket. I love my little surprise buckets. So let's see what we can do with this here. Or are we just gonna break it and that be that? That is also always a possibility. I hope everybody's doing well. I'm used to doing this over on the TikTok, so bear with me. Probably going to do a TikTok live tonight, so if you have not, I don't know, can you go live on YouTube? Um, if you have not followed me already, or you don't watch the lives, come check them out. Is that Black Knife 60 on TikTok if you're a TikTok user? If you're not, don't worry about it, but come check us out. We do a lot of giveaways over there. This is our, this is our latest giveaway for our followers. I thought that turned out okay. I'm going to go with it did. A lot of traffic out here tonight. So we're just going to pressure flake it a little bit. I'm not going to do a whole lot. Let me kick this up, so make sure I get everybody in the frame. I'm not going to do a whole lot to this thinning-wise. But I am going to clean it up a little. So if you see this right here, a little high spot. That's going to be a good flake for indirect. That's a little meaty for a pressure flaker. So let's set us up a couple platforms here. Let's see about getting that guy off. I'm going to take some flakes. I'm going to go ahead and brush my braider this way. And I'm going to take some flakes here, right behind it, kind of isolate it a little bit. All right, it's ready. I'm going to take my indirect percussion tool here. Throw it right there. There it went. So we got one more little high spot. Now right beside it. That's what flint napping is, is chasing high spots. That's all it is, y'all. Get the high spots off till you're left with an arrowhead. Flint napping secrets. Giving up here daily. Don't really need to isolate that. Probably don't need to isolate anything at all with indirect, unless it's a really big, really, really big piece. Dude, I think I'm gonna make a little, uh, little corner tank knife out of this. Like so, I got another one over here. It's already got the shape. I'm gonna make one of those. Cause I like them. Let's get the back straight. Neighbor's dogs are raising cane. Sorry about bumping the camera. What's everybody doing, man? I like to see my comment section light up. I don't do many YouTube videos, so throw me some comments and some subscriptions and stuff if y'all watch this. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't quite understand YouTube. Quite as well as I do TikTok. TikTok's very user-friendly. Just driving off some pressure flakes now. I'm doing it with my leg because I want to go ahead and get some long ones. Not gonna do a not gonna try to run them to meat or anything like that on this one. We're just gonna 
get a sharp edge and the correct profile and we're gonna notch it and call it she's gonna call me here in a minute and the video is gonna be over so i'm gonna upload it wherever i stopped but i'm hoping that's gonna be a finished piece it's got the look let's get a buffer out and do some on the fly shaping or i could just make this a regular k-n-i-f-e Or I might make it into two arrowheads if I break it. So I hope everybody's having a good night. I got a safety video I got to put up on here. That's coming. I always got stuff going. Gotta watch that base. When we go to get that base flat, that's where it'll get you. That's where they break. Hitting on the base. Yeah, we'll just make a regular old knife blank here that'll be needing a handle or i might sell it as it is over on the etsy shop it's black knife stone works on etsy if anybody's interested in finished stuff i've been selling stuff on etsy for a while kind of like the platform That's against my better judgment. It's thin. It's very thin. Definitely gonna make a display piece. Gonna end up being way too thin. That didn't sound good. I don't know if y'all can hear the neighbor's dog. I think one of them just gave himself a boo boo. Now we're eight minutes in. It's going quick. They tend to go quicker if you uh, try not to think about it as much. I did I did overshoot a flake there. That's going to require a little cleaning up. See it? Flake ran all the way over and cut that off. Had a lot of convexity. That's why that happened. And I had the back of the piece in the push down into the pad. And it'll run to the mass. Pretty much every time. Tell you what, let's corner tang it. I'll have a little matching set. 
That'd be pretty sweet. I can hear my dogs barking too. They're in their kennel. I don't like it. not going to braid anymore because I want to keep the edge on it. Man, lost a big chunk there. It's okay. looks like we're going to lose other chunks around it to even it out. because I'm not abrading, but that's okay. And once she calls and I chat with her, I'm going to go do a live video. Maybe. A lot of traffic thing. I keep waiting on somebody to pull up my driveway to come visit. Where's everybody from, man? I got a video up where I think the furthest away somebody commented was Anchorage, Alaska. That's pretty cool. It's crazy how the internet reaches so many people. I'm used to a library because I'm old. I remember the days when that was all you had. And those, uh, those encyclopedias, you know, you remember those? The door to door salesman would come sell them. Or the Encyclopedia Britannica, I guess, or something. Shoot, man. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to change my mind again. Just the way it goes sometimes. Drinking chamomile tea. Like I try to work with the natural shape of the piece. So this one kind of started favoring one side of the biface over the other. So I said, I'm not gonna try to force it back and even it back out. I'm just going to make this out of it, which people, people like these. There it is. I think I'll run some long flakes. Pressure flaking, I don't worry about on the base too much. And that'll get a handle and it'll get put in the shop in time for Christmas. But I want to thin this out. It'll make it easier for me to haft it. Okay.
calling it. It ain't huge, but it'll work. 15 minutes. I love it. Y'all have a good one. Thank you for watching. Hope you watched till the end. Uh, make sure you give us a subscribe. Head over to uh, Black Knife Stoneworks on Etsy to look for it for sale. It's been a pleasure.